trendsetters in the recent past have been Mia Farrow, Dorothy Hamill, Farrah Fawcett, Bo Derrick, and now Lady Diana Spencer, the future queen of England. Ever since her engagement announcement, her style has been in headlines here in Britain, that being the place where her hair is done. And ever since, her hairdresser has been inundated with women who want what's known now as the Lady Di. What do they do? Do they bring in a picture of her and say, this is what I want? Well, some people do. They, some people just get very embarrassed and sort of just give me a nod and, you know, I know what they want, you know, because they don't, some people get a little bit embarrassed by asking for it. In fact, we went to Britain's biggest and found that if Lady Diana hasn't exactly started a new style, hers has been around for years, she has excited interest in an old one. The Lady Di is a quick fix, minimum fuss. In this beauty parlor, it's long been called the Saturday Special, a working girl's style. Here to, to here should be halfway, and it is, and it is. So you're in proportion. <laughs> the Lady Diana look is also bleeding into clothing. Her favored knickerbockers widely on display here, her string ties, frilly blouses and simple slipovers, and flat shoes. It's all traditional styling. She may tend to drift away and wear more formal clothes, which wouldn't be such good news, but she certainly has been good for fashion so far. Meanwhile, back at the beauty parlor, how does the Lady Di hairdo do on its newest wearer? Already a bit of a look-alike. I got out of a taxi once and someone said, are you the girl that's going to marry the prince? <laughs> but we learned in just a few hours here just how popular Lady Diana's hairstyle really is. And just how easy it is today for every woman to look like a princess. Greg Dobbs, ABC News, London. coal miners are not happy about next week's threatened nationwide coal strike. Many tell ABC News they don't want to walk, but believe they don't have a choice. And it appears the strike would hurt the miners more than the companies. Most of them don't really want it. It's just like you don't have a choice, I guess. For instance, the coal industry has a reported 200 million tons of coal stockpiled, enough to operate the nation's utilities for a year. Though most miners are reluctant about striking, several thousand in seven states have already begun wildcat walkouts, ten days before the official strike date. Jim Hickey, ABC News, Pittsburgh.